Hi YouTube, this is Joe Kelton with Kelton Cutlery. You can find me on the web, keltoncutlery.com. So today we're going to do a video on my rabbit traps. Um, I live in the city, uh, well, you know, Cheyenne, it's got uh, 60,000 people or so. Um, so none of it's like really, really city like New York or Denver or a place like that. But anyway, I live in town. And um, in town, or at least here, you can't uh, discharge a firearm or a pellet rifle or anything like that. And we have uh, problems with rabbits here in the neighborhood. Uh, the rabbits really don't have any natural predators and, you know, rabbits breed like, well, rabbits, you know. So we've got rabbits running all over the place. They get in your garden, um, you know, they can uh, uh, spread uh, uh, tapeworms to your, to your dogs. Um, so anyway, so I kind of like to keep them down, you know, the numbers down a little bit. And it's, uh, trapping is about the best way I've found to do that. Um, like I said, here in the city you can't uh, discharge a, a firearm or a pellet gun. Um, also, uh, cottontail rabbits are a small game species, according to the Wyoming Game and Fish, and so they have a hunting season, you know, September 1st through February 28th, I believe. So if you were to, uh, if you were having bunny problems and you got a pellet gun or something, you know, you'd be, um, uh, discharging a firearm inside city limits or pellet rifle, whichever one, and be taking a game animal out of season, both of which are pretty big no-nos. Um, but on the other hand, rabbits are a wild game species, so if you were to like call up the animal shelter, they'd say, well, you know, you can trap them if you want to try that, but they don't have any traps like that. So, um, oh, a couple of years ago or so, I built these. They're just made out of um, uh, a section of uh, privacy fence that I was old and I tore down and, and put up a new one. Had this scrap lumber laying around. And these rabbit traps are so far the best uh, trap that I've ever come across for trapping rabbits. Um, the way they work is uh, pretty much you just have a rectangular box. Um, got chicken wire on chicken wire on this end. And you've got the uh, trap mechanism here. This one right here, I need to adjust the string on it so it uh, the door falls down a little bit. So anyway, and your trigger is just a, a stick right here, which I'll go over that again here pretty soon. So you set the trap like so, um, with the chicken wire on the end. You should be able to see right through it, which is a, a pretty important key. And then, so the idea is that the rabbit runs in here, um, its nose hits the, the trigger stick on the inside of the trap, dislodges that, the door falls open, there's a latch right here which I'll show you in a second, so that it locks uh, closed, and the rabbit is contained, it's not harmed, uh, there's no, like with my grandfather's uh, cat trap, there's no strings or anything that go in here. Um, you know, you've got one moving, well, two moving parts maybe, I guess, if you uh, count the trigger. Um, you know, real simple. The rabbit is, is caught uh, quickly, quietly. Um, it's unharmed. Uh, and then you can do with it what you want. Um, you know, I'm not really interested in, uh, you know, eating city rabbits. Uh, so pretty much I take these rabbits and I, I haul them off to... Uh, another place that's a little bit more suited for them where there's uh, tall grass, you know, plenty of cover, water, all that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, I'm not out to harm the rabbits, I just need to relocate them from my place. So anyway, so the trap, like I said, it's made out of uh, old privacy fence uh, boards. It is five and a half inches by seven inches by 27 inches. Uh, up here, this part right here is, uh, there's a part that sticks out in the bottom here. With that included, it's 34. Um, the hole for the uh, uh, trigger mechanism is 18, in 18 inches back from the face of the trap. Uh, the inside dimensions, this is uh, 5 eighths or so uh, lumber. Inside dimensions is 4 inches by five and a half inches. Um, 
when you make these, what you do is you go ahead and um, you cut your lumber. The bottom needs to have a stick out here. So it sticks out, what is that, 8 inches or so? Right on the money. 8 inches away from, uh, from the rest of the, the box. Uh, you just pre-drill holes. Uh, I put these together with drywall screws, so it's you know nothing fancy or anything. So you build yourself a rectangular box. Um, and then you put, like I said, I put the the chicken wire, wrap it around the outside, and then staple it down so that it's nice and secure and that they can see through it. Okay. It doesn't have to be too tough. I mean, like I said, these are just rabbits, so it's not like they're. Uh, you know, lions or tigers or bears or anything. All you need is a box to hold them. Uh, for the trigger and the door mechanism, I've just got a just got a hinge right here on the top, and that hinge is to uh, you know a end cap pretty much. Uh, what the rebar and the staples are here for is extra weight. Um, that gives it, you know, some speed as it's dropping. And you don't have to use rebar, you can use pretty much whatever you've got. The, uh, the trigger uh, mechanism is just a scrap piece of the same uh, fence material held in place right here with two drywall screws. And then, you know, it's, it goes clear back to just a little bit past the hole. This hole is just a one inch uh, hole in the top, uh, cut it with a spade bit. And then this part right here, uh, actually I'm going to grab the camera so you can, can get a close up of that because that's kind of important. Let's see, uh, let's go like this. This will hold that up. Okay. And of course we're about to run out of battery it looks like. Okay, so your trigger is just a piece of that uh, fencing material that's cut into this shape right here. Pretty much what it does is it grabs onto the inside of the hole like that. Then as the rabbit moves it, it comes out and allows the trap to, you know, the door to close. Um, I just tie string on here so that it's nice and loose so that when it does trip it just hangs. Uh, the locking mechanism that keeps the, uh, keeps the rabbit in the box is like I said they're not all that strong but uh, you know they're still an animal in a trap so um, they'll try to get out. What this is, is a piece of coat hanger it's just a piece of wire coat hanger and this one I bent the end down and then uh, sharpened it and then hammered it into the wood and then it's held in place with a staple and then you just bend it up a little bit Let's see if we can get up in there a little bit closer for that So, as the trap is tripped, this slides past that wire. You can see that wire flexes down a little bit. And then as the door closes, did you see it come up? Now it's locked. It won't open again until you push that wire down and then lift it up. Um, it helps if you carve a little bit of a, a notch right here to kind of, um, you know, help that wire go in. Just make sure that you have it tensioned so that as it closes, it locks. Um, and that's about all there is to the trap. Um, I'll have to show you the star of the, uh, the video right here. <coughs> so I keep these traps out pretty much all the time. And then, uh, you know, when I catch one, you know, I'll go ahead and throw them in the truck and and uh, take them to that other spot that's a little bit more suited to them. Right. If we can get you up in there and you can see that the trap works. Well, 
I guess we could see if there's Mr. Bunny in there. So he's about ready to go from uh, causing havoc in my wife's garden to a nice uh, open field. There's some trees there, like I said, tall grass. There's a water source. Um, I've taken quite a few bunnies down there already, so uh, he'll probably get to see his buddies that he was friends with here and get to see them down there. Um, as far as placement goes, when you're placing these rabbit traps, um, I find it's best to put them uh, where the rabbits will already hang out at. So, uh, and it's windy today, otherwise I would kind of show you where I keep these, but um, you know, like alongside fences, um, entry ways to cover. Uh, so like if you've got a, a big open yard and you know, you've got a bush, uh, couple of ornamental bushes or something uh, where the rabbits kind of like to run uh, to get away from dogs or people walking by or whatever if they're already going that direction that's where you want to place your traps because the whole idea of this and you don't bait bait the trap at all either um, it works think of it an awful lot like a snare so uh, you want to put them in a place where that rabbit is going to want to run and get into cover like to get away from a, a, a dog or a cat or something. That's why it's important to have the end open so it looks like it's going to get through you know just get into a safe spot and then it gets trapped. Um, ethical trapping and let's see how much more time I've got. Not very much so it might cut out. Um, you know that here they are pests but still um, check your traps on a pretty regular basis you know at least once a day or so um, you know you might be trapping it and relocating it but still you're putting a wild animal into a confined space and they're not going to be too happy about it so you know trap them and then get them you know move them or you know do whatever it is that you're going to do with them fairly quickly you know to reduce stress on them uh, I think if you stress them out too much once they get to where they're going their survival chances might be a little bit less um, you know, if you're going to trap in uh, in the cold, you know, check check the traps even more frequently. You know, because they can't get they can't eat, so they're not going to get any calories while they're sitting in here. Um, with a rabbit in a box like this, with one door closed, it's going to be pretty protected from the elements, um, so you don't have to worry about that so much. Um, but still, you know, just have some compassion for whatever it is that you're trapping. Anyway, um, if you have a problem with your rabbits uh, in your neighborhood and your garden and such, um, build a couple of these boxes and, and see if they work out well for you. I think, oh, I don't know, I've probably caught maybe 30, 30 rabbits in each one of these traps, something like that. Um, I gave a couple of my neighbor, and he really likes having a nice yard, and the rabbits play havoc on it. And so I think he told me the other day he trapped like over 100 of them last summer. Uh, with these box traps and then took them up to a field up the street and turned them loose. Um, so they work really good and they don't cost very much to make and um, yeah that's it. So anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to you can check out my website CaltonCutlery.com and uh, we will see you next time.